So what we got is a no spark situation here. Went and uh, grounded out the spark plug here. We pulled it over and there was no spark on there. We put a new spark plug in. The uh, holder here turned it over and it still was no spark. So we're going to check the coil. Remove the uh, air filter cover and then there's a couple Phillips screws on here to take this plastic shroud off. And if you need to order parts, you want to look up your model number and your serial number okay, on with here. those screws out, take your fuel cap off and then this will come off the top. We'll remove this bolt here on our fuel tank and then there is a couple on top that we'll go ahead and remove them and this whole fuel tank assembly will come off. We'll set that off to the side. Okay, we took the fuel tank off. There's two bolts here. And here in the back, there's a bolt here and a bolt here. We'll remove that and take our recoil housing off. Before you purchase a new coil, uh, you're gonna wanna check to make sure that the coil wasn't just shorting out. And uh, these wires here, are connected to the bale when you let go of it it shorts the spark plug out and then it puts the brake on the flywheel so to make sure that that's uh, correct I got our meter hooked up to a continuity tester okay the bale is closed let it go and you can hear that there is continuity grounding it out so we know that the coil is bad Okay, so what we've got here is we unbolted the old cable or the old coil and we got a new one here. It's a used one. We lined up the magnets on the flywheel here and we're going to place some uh, business card behind here. That'll create our little air gap. We'll go ahead, stick our coil on there and then put our bolts down and then uh, Snug those up real well. So we have uh, a business card against the uh, magnets there. That'll draw the new coil in there. And we'll go ahead and tighten that down. We'll take our wire here and connect it to the uh, tab on the coil. And now that we got that tightened up, we'll take and uh, rotate our uh, flywheel around a little bit and take our business card out of there. Okay, we're gonna test it, see if it's got some spark here. Pull the bale down. Hopefully you can see that. I'll zoom in on there. So now we'll go ahead and bolt everything back together here. Put our uh, fuel tank back on. Uh, there is a collar on the bolt on the side that needs to go on. And we're ready to fire it okay, up. Okay, got her all back together. Now we're going to go and fire it up.